So yesterday was Star Wars Day. So in celebration of it, uh, I'm going to rank the Star Wars movies. In this ranking will be the original trilogy, the prequel trilogy, and the sequel trilogy. One-offs like Rogue One or Solo will not be included. Number nine, episode one, The Phantom Menace. My least favorite of all the movies. It introduces us to Jar Jar Binks and a lot of other questionable alien races. But Jar Jar took the cake. Number eight, episode eight, The Last Jedi. If it wasn't for Jar Jar Binks, this would probably be in the number nine spot. When I left the movie theater after watching this, I had an uneasy, an uneasy feeling that I couldn't place for a long time. Eventually, I was able to pinpoint that it was just a great disappointment. Everything that The Force Awakens built up was just thrown out the window. Captain Phasma, built up to be this great opponent, killed off right away. Rey's past dismantled. Luke made into a grumpy old Jedi. And let's not forget his death. It went out of its way to be unenjoyable. Number seven, episode two, Attack of the Clones. This was a hard choice, but in the end, the wooden love story landed it here. The rest of the movie was interesting, especially Obi-Wan's investigation of the clone army. But a famous quote from the movie is, I don't like sand. It's rough and coarse and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Number six, episode nine, The Rise of Skywalker. Okay, so I barely remember what happened in this movie. I just remember that I enjoyed it more than I enjoyed The Last Jedi. I did wait the whole movie to figure out what the title meant just for it to be mentioned in the very last line. That was kind of cheesy. Number five, episode seven, The Force Awakens. It was an exciting and intriguing start to a new trilogy. Introducing new characters, bringing back old favorites, setting up plot lines that should have carried through the entire series. Number four, episode three, Revenge of the Sith, the best of the prequel trilogy. We see the final transformation of Anakin Skywalker into Darth Vader. The very first time I saw this in the theater and heard that Imperial March music, it gave me chills. Number three, episode four, A New Hope. You had to guess that the top three would be the original trilogy. And we start with the one that started it all. Growing up, I didn't know it as the New Hope. It was just plain old Star Wars. Number two, episode five, The Empire Strikes Back. This will probably be a controversial choice, but I have my reasons. This was jam packed with plot, action, cliffhangers, and reveals. And I loved every minute of it. And number one, Episode six, Return of the Jedi. This is my number one because of Luke's character arc throughout the trilogy. And because even though he just had a little training, he came back as a full fledged Jedi, not just in actions, his entire personality had changed. So that was my ranking for the Star Wars original trilogy, prequel trilogy and sequel trilogy. What did you think? Was it controversial enough? What are your rankings? Please tell me in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know the next time I record, I upload or go live. May the fourth be with you.